Suppose the probability of a intersect b equals 0.6, the probability of a equals 0.7, and the probability of b equals 0.8. Part a, find the probability of a union b, and part b, find the probability of b given a. Now, I've wrote up two formulas here. We can simply plug these numbers in and find exactly what we need to find. But I'd like to show you guys what's going on visually here to the right. Now, you see I've got the event a in a Venn diagram and the event b, and then I've got these two blank these two blank spaces. So I just wanted to quickly go through where this formula comes from and why. So for the probability of A union B, what we want is everything inside of A and everything inside of B, right? So if I just quickly highlight this roughly, it's a, it's a rough sketch, but so here's everything in A, and now I'll pick a different color, let's say pink, and do everything in B. And if you notice, if we do that, we've got two portions of the middle section, right? And all we really want is one portion of that middle section. You can see it's kind of meshed the mesh the yellow and the pink there in the middle. I'll maybe put it in green. You see we've got two of two of these middle sections, so we have to minus one. And what is that middle section? Well it's A intersect B. So if we look over here at our first equation to solve for part A, we've got the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersect B, right? Because we've overlapped that middle, that middle intersecting section. Um, so we're gonna have to minus one of those. So I just wanted to quickly go through that before we started. Um, that's why you minus that, that's, what, that's why the formula is what it is and you minus that, that kind of, we could call it an extra, an extra intersect, intersection. Um, now moving on for part A, you can see that the probability of A union B just equals the probability of A, which is given by the prob problem at 0.7, plus the probability of B, which is 0.8, a, 0.8, minus the probability of A intersect B, which is also given to be 0.6. So this is 0.15, or excuse me, 1.5 minus 0.6, which is gonna equal 0.9. That's our answer for part A. And then likewise, for part B, we've got the probability of B given A equals the probability of the intersection, which is 0.6, over the probability of A, which is 0.7, which equals 6 sevenths, which I believe equals 0.86. So those are our answers for those two.